Hello, so this is a quick review video on the new Simcock Cotter. Okay, so I just went uh, back there and get my iPhone 5. So what happened is uh, I have an iPhone 4S and it was using a micro SIM card. Okay, originally I had the SIM card like the, the big bulky one and it was in, I guess I had it in 2005 or something like that. It was a long time ago. It was a really big and bulky SIM card. Um, I, I cut it once. I cut it down from a big bulky SIM card into a micro SIM card size, which is what you see here, the, the corner inside. And then when the iPhone 5 came out, um, it's using a nano SIM card. So what I had to do is I had to cut, I had to buy another SIM card cutter. This is the nano SIM card cutter, which is what the product review is about. Basically, you slide in your uh, big bulky traditional SIM card in and you cut it. It's kind of like a paper clip kind of mechanism. It just, you know, it extrude out the SIM card. But I had, since I had, a, it's designed with a big bulky traditional SIM card. Um, since I had a micro SIM card size, since I cut it at some point and when I upgraded to iPhone 4S, which had a um, micro SIM card. So what I did was I put the nano, uh, sorry, I put the micro SIM card that I had, the size, which, you know, I cut it before, like I said. And they it comes with uh, two little SIM card holder. It's like a little piece of plastic that can hold this SIM card that I have, which is a micro SIM card size. Not, uh, yeah, micro SIM card size. And then you just put it into the proximal location here slide in it has a little logo here show you which direction of the SIM card to be oriented as long as the whole size is in the large SIM card size you slide it in then you just use your two hands and do it downwards is probably better because you don't want the SIM card to fly out from this spot upward could get into your eyes or god knows where um, it would just fly out so you push it down very hardly like with two hands and then out with the SIM card. Um, and then you just have to pull it back like to retry because you know, this uh, piece of metal is gonna get stuck in the middle. So what happened is um, after that, you get a SIM card. Since mine was so ancient, it was from 2000, you know, it's probably from 2003 actually, I had this thing going. It was way before 2005. No, it's about 2005. I had this thing going in 2005. Alright, so this is the end product after you're cutting it. Oh, this is the other piece of plastic that came with the micro sync card cutter. So I got this from Amazon. I know you can buy this from China for like a dollar probably. Less, but I got from Amazon about seven eight dollars because I, I kind of needed ASAP for my iPhone 5. So you can get it from Amazon Prime if you live in the US and UK area, you can get this really fast. And a lot of sellers sell this on Amazon Prime, or if you live close, you want away from China, you can always buy it for like a dollar or something in China. Anyway, so this is the end product after you cut it and inside the SIM card cutter, you can pull it out and this is what it was before. Like I say, this was originally a large SIM card and I cut it at some point in 2000 and I, I guess, I don't know, two, three years ago or more. I don't remember when I cut this. But I cut it at some point a few years ago. So I got a micro SIM card for my iPhone 4S. Great. And then I cut it again just today to get my nano SIM card, which 
works because I just call I just made two phone call earlier with this card and it works just fine um, so this video is really just for people who want to do this on their own they, they want to cut um, into a nano sync cut perfectly without using a scissor which I strongly uh, discourage people doing that because uh, why would you do a scissor when this thing costs like a dollar to ten dollars and cuts perfectly on its own uh, no, make, that just make no sense to me. Why <laughs> anyone want to cutting with the scissor? But um, this is what it looks like on the side. The copper obviously is being um, it's a little bit rough edge. I don't know if you can see. It's not the camera is not focusing very well. Anyway, let's take my word for it. Uh, if you can, I don't know if it's gonna come out okay on the screen, but you can see what's inside the SIM card. It's plastic and copper, and I don't know. What what else is in there? It's blackish. It looks like it's damaged, but it's really not because it works just fine. As I 4G works, uh, why the um, internet 4G works and calling people there's no um, I can call other people and without any uh, noticing any quality difference with the phone call. So yeah, this works. And then I can put this into my iPhone 5. And unfortunately, since I'm using T-Mobile, as I just find out after I make the SIM card, my iPhone 5 is not yet activated, uh, unlocked for T-Mobile. So I'm going to have to do that. OK, so that's why I had this uh, SIM card back to iPhone 4S, which I guess I still use for a few days until my friend who sold me this phone, um, I need him to code AT&T for him to unlock it. So then I can use my iPhone 5. And thank you very much for watching. So this, this is how you make micro SIM card out of 2005 big bulky SIM card. The micro card. Oh, few more things I want to talk about this with micro card is that you want to uh, I guess it has the same problem as the previous generation of nan. Uh, this is the nano SIM card cutter. In the previous generation, the micro SIM card cutter, people a lot of people complain about how this edge is really sharp. If you're not careful, you can hurt yourself. Uh, so this is the same. This is the, still the same case. This uh, two every every other edge is nice and I guess less. Well, some of the edges are sharp, like on this side, it's really sharp. And the size sharp. So just be careful when you use this, don't cut yourself. Uh, wear gloves or just don't touch this inner corner area. Just top button and slide it in. Make sure you slide in again, slide in the large SIM card size. If you don't, you have a micro SIM card, put it in this adapter and put it and put it in. Otherwise, you're gonna cut, come out with the wrong, you're gonna damage the uh, SIM card you cut in if you put the nano SIM card, uh, micro SIM card directly in and expecting for a nano SIM card but it won't come out right. Anyway, I think you get what I'm saying. Um, I don't know who exactly sold me this on Amazon right now. I bought, I just bought, I just got this yesterday and it came with this. Um, it's a 12 volt DC converter to, you know, like 5 volt charging. Yeah, I'll put five, you know, I think it's 5 -0. 5 -0 for, you know, USB charger. Nice touch. Um, looks pretty nice, actually. It's inside, you can see it's an electrolytic capacitor. It's kind of cheap. So I don't know if we're going to use it. I don't really need it, but it's a nice touch for the seller who have included this with the micro sync card. And the whole, whole deal only costs like $8 to $10-ish on Amazon. So not a bad deal. Um... Thank you very much for watching, and I got this in two days of Amazon Prime. Yeah, so this works. Great.